friends. This is just weird. I'm so awkward lately. Hooray. As much as I love these sunglasses, we're just gonna put them right here for now. My hair is looking great. Makeup free, it's all good. So hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. It's been, I don't know, two weeks, maybe more than that since I posted my last video. And obviously there is a lot happening in the world right now. <sighs> and I did post a podcast episode last week. It's episode number 116. I highly recommend going to listen to that. The episode is titled, Your Privilege is Showing. So it's definitely worth a listen. And honestly, as of late, I've just been in a space where I haven't so much felt like creating or picking up the camera. I felt like with the pandemic, my days just really looked the same and it's not really fun for me to film or put together content or b-roll or vlogs when i feel like i'm just doing the same things every single day and then also with the black lives matter movement i wanted to really take time to process and work on my own spiritual activism and learn and educate myself and really evaluate my own biases and my own privilege before creating another piece of content. So one of the ways that I am using my platform to amplify melanated voices and to support the Black Lives Matter movement is I've decided I am donating half of the proceeds from my Write 50K in 30 Days course to a nonprofit called Project Row Houses, which is a local organization here in Houston, Texas. So just some background on Project Row Houses. 25 years ago, seven black artists bought a block and a half of rundown shotgun houses in the third ward in Houston, restored them, and turned them into a work of living art called Project Row Houses. Today, some of those houses serve as artist studios or exhibition spaces, while others are home to single mothers. The nonprofit has expanded, they're getting into social work while offering free art classes and a host of other programs. The original block of homes, now considered a social sculpture, is featured in a permanent display at the Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture. So as a creative, I absolutely love what they're doing, and like I said, I will be donating half of the proceeds from my e-course, Write 50K in 30 Days, from this month's sale, since I am offering a sale on that course. I will be participating in Camp NaNoWriMo next month in July, so I hope you'll consider joining me. And through that e-course, I would love to help you get your first draft of your book down on paper. To learn more about Write 50K in 30 Days, make sure to check out the link in the description box below. I also know that in my last video, I announced that I would be taking part in something called the Online Service Summit. That has actually been postponed. So it was taking place June 22nd through the 25th. It is now going to be taking place July 7th through the 10th. And the organizer has decided to award 10 all access passes to women of color. Make sure you are following me on Instagram. My handle is author Kristen Martin because I will be posting more about the online service summit as it gets closer. Two more quick announcements and then we'll go ahead and get on into this vlog and all the B-roll and all the writing vibes because yes, even though Camp NaNoWriMo starts in July, I have been editing and writing and just really in a creative zone lately. First announcement is not an easy one to share, but due to everything that is currently going on in the world, and especially with COVID cases still spiking, even though the economy, at least in the US, is reopening very slowly, I have decided to postpone Own Your Thrive indefinitely. So originally Own Your Thrive was taking place in May, and then it was moved to September, and now we're just in a situation where things seem really uncertain and I don't feel 100% comfortable hosting an in-person event even with all of the guidelines the government and the CDC has in place I just it's too close I guess you could say like it's June right now and that event would be taking place in September and so I made the decision to postpone indefinitely which means I don't currently have any idea as to when when or where that event will be taking place but hopefully <laughs> at some point in the future, I will. On a lighter note though, because I've had some more time freed up since I am not planning Own Your Thrive and getting ready for all of that, I've had a lot more time to work on my books, specifically the Shadow Crown series. And I've already ordered a proof for Jaded Springs so that should be arriving next week, which is really exciting. So I will share with you that Jaded Spring will be releasing this year, yay! And it'll be releasing sooner than you might think. 
so I should have an update on the exact release date. I already have one in mind and it's really, really soon. So yeah, we'll see. But again, follow me on Instagram because I tend to share things there first since I'm on Insta stories every single day, whereas I'm only on YouTube not as often. <laughs> so first things first, I'm going to head inside because I need to clean up the kitchen because I made lunch earlier and it's a hot mess. All right, let's look, it's really not that messy to be totally honest. I still have some leftover sweet potatoes and red onions and my lime creme sauce. This is what I made for lunch minus the chicken because I am going vegetarian or at least trying to go vegetarian. So it was very good, but I need to put these in little containers and pop them in the fridge. Did you just turn 10? My little Gemini. Lacey. <laughs> Did you just turn 10 years old? This is pretty standard, just, just ignoring me. There's nowhere for me to lay. Oh no. Yes? <laughs> oh, so I'm sure that that cleaning the kitchen footage was exactly what you guys wanted to see. I'm hairless. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna get a ride on my Peloton. I don't know why I'm talking into the mirror instead of just turning the camera around, but you know what guys, we're, <laughs> we're trying to be creative. We're trying to be creative. I'm gonna get a ride in on my Peloton and shower and definitely write and edit. Yay, what an exciting day. I don't know if anyone has watched Russian Doll. I only got through like the first couple of episodes because I just couldn't do it thinking to myself, it's Groundhog Day over and over again. Like I can't keep watching the same scene over and over again each episode. And lately I've been waking up in the morning and I'm just like, what day is it? What is time? What am I doing today? I'm doing the exact same thing I did yesterday. Is anyone else struggling a little bit with that? Trying to do things differently, trying to write in different places, just, yeah, trying to, I don't know. My sanity is questionable right now in this pandemic, so bear with me. So I really don't know if this is going to end up being the theme for this video, but I thought I would share anyways, just some ways that I am keeping it from feeling like Groundhog Day, like every day is just the same over and over and over again. So obviously my Peloton is like my saving grace. Seriously, I do not know what I would do without this bike during this pandemic. I've also just been doing different things around the house or doing, like if I have a normal activity that would be in the living room, I'm taking that somewhere else, if that makes sense. So I have a decent sized house. I know that not everyone is able to do this, but I've actually been sleeping in the guest bedroom some nights, just so it's like I wake up and I'm like, oh, am I in an Airbnb? No, I'm still in my house, but I can at least, I can at least pretend like I'm traveling, um, which I know just sounds kind of insane. Again, like I said, my sanity is questionable during this pandemic, but I'm just trying to keep things different, change things up a little bit because I'm still not trying to go places since you know the numbers are spiking. By the way, I know the economy is reopening, but just, it's crazy what a couple of months will do to the human psyche. I feel like everyone all of a sudden is just like, it's fine. And I'm just like, I don't think it is, but you know, <laughs> whatever. I'm still trying to stay home as much as possible. And I would just, encourage you to look at the statistics in your state or your country, wherever you live and just use your better judgment. But yeah, so I've been sleeping in the guest room some nights just to change things up. I've been on my Wii a lot doing just dance and also Wii sports. So that's been fun, like playing tennis and baseball and I've actually been boxing. That's been really fun. And with my riding, I've been taking that wherever I possibly can. So on the mornings where it's been cooler and a little bit crisper, 
crisper is that a word i don't know i sit actually out on this ledge on the second story of my house which is kind of like the roof but not really i think i filmed like two videos where i was sitting out there so i've been doing that spending a lot of time in the hammock just really trying to change up my surroundings as much as possible and i think the next thing i will be doing is adjusting my nook i love the decor in there right now so i'm I really don't want to change it until the fall, like when we start to get closer to Halloween, but I'm thinking I may need to, maybe I'll add something along the fireplace, kind of put more yellows and reds and oranges just to celebrate the summer solstice. <laughs> that was a lot of S's. <laughs> okay, enough procrastinating. I'm going to ride my Peloton and then it's, you guys, it's late. It's 419 right now. So I started this vlog a little later in the day, but again, I don't, I don't know what time is and I tend to write more and better in the evenings anyways. So it works out. Okay, I'm getting on the bike. Let's do this. So one of the other things I've been trying to do during this pandemic is to get dressed this is like such a little crop top whoa whoa as i was saying please excuse my hair because it is still wet sort of still trying to dry a little bit i've been trying to get ready at least like i don't know like three to four days a week and not even fully get ready so first of all my hair and skin are loving this pandemic because the only heat that I'm using on my hair is on my bangs. I have not worn foundation since, hmm, probably since March. Yeah, since March. And if I do any kind of makeup, it is very, very minimal. So my hair and skin are loving the pandemic. My mind, not so much. By the way, I just wanna say real quick that there is an art to vlogging and camera angles and how close and how far away it is. Like, can you imagine if my whole video was like this and I was like, hey guys, what's up so yeah there's a lot more that goes into content creation than people realize so just want to throw that out there it takes it takes a while let's get a little bit closer i'm gonna start editing and writing because i should have done this i should have done this earlier today and i did i didn't film it though i edited two chapters of the fourth shadow crown book so the status on that one, I told you guys about Jaded Spring, very exciting, will be releasing this year. But the fourth book, the first draft is, the first draft is written, but it's sparse. So it was definitely underwritten. So I'm kind of going through and editing what I currently have and then filling in a lot of the, a lot of the chapters and also writing new chapters. And then there is another manuscript that I'm working on that I will be working on for Camp Nano in July, which is adult, like technically new adult, and it's fiction. And that's all I'm gonna say about it. I'm about 20,000, like a little over 20,000 words in, and it's all written in first person. So it's just been really easy to write. I'm noticing that first person is way easier than multi point of view chapters. So I'm like out of breath because I'm squatting. <laughs> <laughs> I just worked out. I guess I need to work out some more. Okay, enough of my blabbering. I'm gonna go ahead and start editing, get some B-roll, so let's roll into that. This rocking is probably going to make someone watching this like seasick. <laughs> I'm trying to slow myself down, but there's nothing to grab onto. Maybe this branch. Ah. You know what? I'm sorry. We're just gonna have to deal with this slight swaying in the breeze. It's 
so lovely. It's cooled down quite a bit here, which I'm really happy about in the evenings because I lay in my hammock. I am reading The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. I'm not that far into it. P.S. I'm using my own bookmark. Can you see this? <laughs> I'm not that far into it, but so far I'm really enjoying it. I have a feeling I'm going to read it pretty quickly. But yeah, my plans for the rest of the evening are to enjoy this beautiful weather. It's got to be in the 70s, which we've had a stint of like really nice weather, like 65 degrees in the morning. I don't know if you can hear the breeze. So the evenings have been really nice and the mosquitoes haven't been that bad, so I have been swinging in my new hammock. I got a new one because the other ones were just really old looking and completely faded. But I've been swinging in the hammock, reading and just relaxing, being in the vibe of everything before, before the heat really takes over this summer. So. I'm gonna sign off here. I wanna thank you so much for watching. I'm not sure there will be a video next week. Probably not. It seems like I'm kind of doing every other week, but you never know. We'll see. It was fun to pick up the camera today, so maybe I'll, maybe I'll get the urge to do it again next week. Anywho, thank you for watching. If you like this video, you wanna see more like this, please give it a thumbs up to support my channel. And don't forget to click that subscribe button as well as that little bell, because that will send you email notifications to your inbox whenever I upload new videos, since I am not currently on a schedule. Make sure to check out the description box below for information on my courses, books, programs, and basically everything you wanna know. Everything you wanna know is in the description box below. Again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you more than you know and I will see you in my next video. Bye.